guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this affordable, quick and easy Christmas wreath. To make your Christmas wreath, you're going to need a pair of secateurs, a wire wreath. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. I was very happy with it. You could also get your floral wire from there. However, I like to use floral bind wire. It's a very fine wire covered in paper. You can pick this up on Amazon. You will also need foliage. I went to my local pop-up Christmas tree shop and asked them for their scraps that they were throwing out and they gave it to me for free. So I've cut a smaller branch off my larger branch to make it easier to work with and now I'm working out where I'm going to do my cuts. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a whole lot of pieces off and we're going to make small little bunches that we will attach to our wire wreath. So I'm working out where I'll make my cut. I don't want them too long and I definitely don't want them too short. Of course if you've cut them too long you can always trim them later. To get full instructions and a list of the supplies needed, pop over to my blog. Now I have a selection of foliage, I'm going to make my bunches. I'm going to start with the longest piece and I'm going to use that at the back as my base. Then I'm going to use the longer pieces that are left to put at the back and I'm going to use the shorter pieces to go on top and have them fanning out to the sides. You could be using any foliage you like at this point. You could be also using a selection of different foliage. You basically just have fun here. With a piece of floral bind wire that I'd already pre-cut, I'm just wrapping it around and twisting it nice and firmly. And now I have my first little bunch to attach to my wire wreath. Make as many bunches as you need to go around your wreath. And you can always make a few more at the end if you haven't made enough. My wreath has four wires and I'm going to use the centre two as a guide for where to place my bunches. Taking my first bunch, I just want to make sure I know the centre of it and where it goes up in a straight line. And then I'm taking that straight line and I'm placing it in the middle of the two wires. Now I'm going to attach my bunch to my wreath. I'm going to take my wire and what I want to do here is I want to go and grab part of the back of the bunch of the foliage and attach that to the back by twisting it on. Then I'm going to get the wire and wrap it around the front. Now I'm taking my second foliage bunch and I'm going to place that just down slightly from the first bunch. I want to cover up the work that I've done and remembering the closer the bunches are, the fuller your wreath will look. I'm making sure that it's again straight and then I'm going to attach it through the back carefully with my floral bind wire. This can be a little bit fiddly and then I'm coming back around and going back over the top. Repeat this until you get all the way around to where you began. So now I've worked my way around and I'm almost back to where I started. I'm just working out how many more bunches I'll need and I think two will do the job. I've placed it on top covering up where I worked previously and now I'm getting my wire and wrapping it around the back of the bunch and again over the top of the bunch. And now I'm ready to attach my final foliage bunch. This last one can be a little bit tricky because you've really got to push it in and under from the one you first began with. And again, I'm going through some of the back of the, the bunch and then I'm wrapping it around and then going over the top. We've almost finished our Christmas wreath. We just have to flip it over to the back so we can cut off our floral bind wire and then attach it to the wire wreath just to make it nice and tidy. To add lights, I just zigzag it around the wreath, tucking it in behind the foliage as I go.
Then on the back I just tuck the power pack underneath a couple of the wires to keep it secure. And then in about three or four places I just take a little bit of wire, tuck it underneath the foliage just to secure the lights on so they don't blow off in the wind. You might like to add a bow to your wreath. I've got this one that I made and you can see on the back I've added some wire so I can attach it. So what I'm going to do is wrap it right around the whole wreath then I'm going to secure it on the back by twisting the wires around together. Then I'm going to straighten up my bow and fluff it up a little bit. If you've enjoyed my tutorial, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you guys.